With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so in this question we have given here the two wires of same material that is Young's modulus is equals to Y and same length L but the radii are and twice of R respectively are joined end to end and a weight of W is suspended from the combination as shown in the figure. Then the elastic potential energy in the system is. So let's see solution. So actually in this question we have given the two wires of same length and same material okay but the radii of the two wires are different as r and twice of r okay now these two wires are joined together end to end and after joining it a weight of w is subtended to this combination which we have shown into this figure okay so according to this what will be the elastic potential energy for this system that we have to find here okay now if you see here so after substanding this uh, load or we can say this weight w there will be some extension into the length of wire okay and that ex extension can be given by the formula that is delta l will be is equals to f into l divided by a into y where f is the force l is the length a is the area and y is the young's modulus okay so similarly this i can write for these two wires let this lower wire as one and this upper wire as second so from here the extension length for this first wire that is delta l1 can be written as w into l divided by area for this wire will be pi r square okay into young's modulus y now here i have directly taken uh, w because actually the force act on through this weight will be in downward direction and actually in downward direction the force is actually is equals to the weight of the block okay so here that's why i have taken this force f here as w that is weight of the block okay now similarly here the extension of length for this y second that is delta l2 here i can write as w into l divided by cross sectional area that is 4 pi r square because its radius is twice of r into Young's modulus y. Okay, now according to question, we have find here the elastic potential energy. Okay, so we know that the elastic potential energy for the system can be given by u is equals to one half of is k1 into delta l1 that bracket is square plus one half of k2 in bracket delta of l2 that bracket is square okay while we know that the k is given as k is equals to young's modulus into a divided by l so if we use the formula of k for this so here the elastic potential energy that is u will become is equals to one half of so by using the this formula i can write k1 as for this uh, first wire that is young's modulus into cross sectional area that is pi r square divided by l into delta l1 so we have already founded it that is w into l divided by pi r square into y that bracket is square plus now this second term that is 1 divided by 2 into now i will use this formula for k2 so it will become young's modulus y into area of the second wire that is 4 pi r square okay 
divided by L into delta L2 square. So we have already found it here that is W into L divided by 4 pi R square into Young's modulus that is Y that bracket square. So now if we see here so e 1 Young's modulus 1 pi r square and 1 l according to this bracket will be get cancel okay so after canceling it and simplifying it and adding these two terms we get a final answer of 5 w square l divided by 8 pi r square into y this is what your required answer that is elastic potential energy for this given system okay so according to this if we check the given option so option third is the correct answer for this question so this is the required solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today